Hi, I'm Lawrence Edwards from Black Mountain Honey and today I'm going to show you my underfloor entrance. Now, I used to spend loads of money buying floors. Um, you can pick them up, the wooden ones in the sales, for relatively cheap, maybe 12 to 15 pounds, and they're okay. Um, I buy a lot of poly hives complete, so you get the floor, the brew box, a couple of supers, sometimes a queen excluder, a roof, and some of them are quite good, some of them aren't so good. Um, but they add up, they're quite expensive, so if you're buying an individual poly floor, they're about 25 or 30 pounds. Um, and I just, I didn't want to go down the route of buying complete hives anymore because I was, I had enough supers. I just wanted to get the brood boxes and the floors and the roofs. So I started buying items separately. And I had a number of uh, issues with the floors. So with the normal cedar floors that you get, they're fine and they can let lots of bees kind of flow in and flow out. But then you have issues over winter. Um, you need to put mouse guards on in order to stop uh, mice getting into the hive and destroying the frames. And then if you don't put them on, early enough um, then the mice can already be in the hive and then it can knock pollen off the bees so I, I really didn't like them and it was one more thing to do um, the Swianti floors I really do like them uh, there seems to be a lot of haters for Swianti products at the moment but I find their floors are very very good they're simple um, and the, the key thing is that they don't extend out past the exterior footprint of the hive so there's no additional landing board which for a commercial beekeeper is great because you can get more on the trailer um, the, the big thing that I really liked about theirs though is that they only have an 8mm gap so in order for the bees to fly in and fly out there's only 8mm which means that even during the peak flows the bees can't get in so there's no requirement to put um, mouse guards on during the winter which is good uh, but they're 25 to 30 quid if you want to buy them on their own and if you're buying them in bulk you probably get them a little bit cheaper but still they're, they're an expensive item to buy so I looked at a way at building my own floors and I'm definitely not taking advantage for the design of this. This is somebody else's design that I've uh, shamefully copied. Um, so it, it is an underfloor entrance. So the, the underfloor entrance is very different to the normal entrance. So normally you have the bees flying in there and then the mesh, if you have an open mesh floor, would be on this side. So you would have access in and straight up to all of the frames. And that works and that's fine but it can cause issues with wasps very easy for wasps to get in very easy for mice to get in so some clever person invented an underfloor entrance like this and the idea between this is that the bees go in here and then they have to navigate this slot here so you're going in it's a 90 degree bend up through this slot um, and it works really really well so mice can't get through that gap so you never get any mice the fact that the wasps go in here they just get confused and you might get the odd one that finds its way through but generally it's really good to tear in against wasps um I, I use mesh for all of my hives i find that i prefer to have the ventilation at the bottom i know a lot of people are moving away from uh, mesh floors now and going back to solid floors so I, I will have a look at that potentially in the future but at the moment this is what i'm doing so i build these myself so i buy the mesh online you can see it's a galvanized mesh it corrodes a little bit but it's fine it doesn't ever come into contact with any of the frames i keep it flush so a lot of people will put a, a strip along around the edges there and then they'll work it as a top b space floor all of my hives are on bottom b space so i can keep the floors flush which means it's a lot easier to make and then all i do is i go and buy some timber i chop it to size and i'll, I'll put a couple of pictures up to show this i do this kind of on mass so i do kind of 100 at a time um, and then i glue it the glue you can see here give it a close-up just use gorilla glue and i screw it and as you can see it's rough and ready like do you mean you've got cracks in there glue spilling out don't care it's uh it's a functional floor i do it to make it quick and it cost me about three quid um and that's it really so un under floor entrances if you want to have a go at making them i can probably uh, get a copy of the designs and put that up on the website www.blackmountainhoney.co.uk um, or if you've got any questions about them give me a shout but I find them very useful and thanks very much to the person who, who designed these and put me onto them much appreciated um, so as always follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook and give us a follow on Instagram to keep up to date with the latest news thanks very much see you soon